A beloved and historic Florida attraction is under new ownership tonight. Marine Land is now owned by Dolphin Discovery, which is based in Mexico. Georgia Aquarium sold the attraction this summer. Jessica Clark is on your side tonight, finding out what will change and what will remain the same. The dolphins at Marine Land know Stacy Spong, who supervises animal training there. I have been here over 12 years. She has seen a lot of changes at the attraction, including the park's recent sale over the summer. It's just any facility anywhere that can happen. A year after the park's 80th anniversary, Georgia Aquarium sold Marine Land to Dolphin Discovery, a Cancun, Mexico based company with three facilities in Florida. There are a few changes to the park. We've changed a little bit here and there. We don't usually come in and just overhaul anything. Felicia Cook is the new general manager of Marine Land Dolphin Adventure. As for changes, the prices for the dolphin interactive experiences now cost less and last longer, a financial move to keep this facility afloat. If people aren't coming through the gates, you can't educate them. You can't share the passion and the love that we have for our animals or for conservation, for research, if people aren't coming in the door. <laughs> our company, Dolphin Discovery, is all about rescue, rehabilitation, releasing to the wild if at all possible, and if not, a resting place forever and research. And that's what Marine Land has been in recent years. So these guys are new to the park. There's a new species here. They're rough tooth dolphins, and they actually come from another park that's part of the company in Panama City, and uh, they're rescues. The general manager says in order to do more research and rescues, more projects are in the works here. We are not equipped for all of that just yet. Um, but we will be doing our best to make sure that we can help in any area possible. There were some personnel changes during the sale. So I'm very sorry for those that are no longer with us for whatever reason it might have been. Didn't have anything to do with their skills, capabilities, knowledge. It probably just had to do with what best fit us for what we see in our future. Longtime employee Spong says at the core, Marine Land's message of education and conservation remains. And the care for these animals has not changed. I wouldn't allow it. In Marine Land, Florida, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.